We are back for what could very well be the last episode in this series. I'm not sure, but because we saw last time that we have the enemy carriers so close to us, uh, they have been taking over islands very close to where we are, which means that they have to be somewhere within this area. And uh, first thing we're going to try to do is just make sure that we are sort of prepared for whatever we may need to do with them. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how we're going to take them out. Let's just have a look at these Mantis planes. They are going to be key here because it's got the radar in it. Um, we do currently have some of the bombs loaded as well. And we have countermeasures. Why is the countermeasures not working in this Manta? I have no idea why. That's interesting. We still have more. And those should be using flares, I think. Um, well, I don't want to waste too much time here because... Um, what is that off in the distance? That's an island. There's a lot of lights coming from there. Let's just have a look at what that is. Those lights, that's probably like our barge. No. Wow, okay, that is definitely the enemy carrier. And there seems to be... There seems to be ships following it. They're not close enough that I can actually tag them. Um... And we've got the carrier missile here. This is definitely not going to help us because they'll have the same anti-air capabilities that we do, which means they can just shoot them down. I need to make sure that my weapons are enabled. Do we have... Yeah, these are all armed. That's good. Anti-air missiles are armed. Um, okay, that's our heavy lift rotor coming back. I wonder, should I just start making my way towards it. I mean, I, I really have no idea what to expect. And the thing is, we sort of need a plan here. Since I've never taken this down, I do have these high-speed aircraft, and I think I should try to do bombing runs at least, at least see if that works. It'd be really good if we could get rid of these other ships as well. Let's start with some torpedoes. Um, this is not even close enough to be picked up on this radar yet. So we should... I wonder if it spotted us. I want to get one of these planes up. Um, so it's sort of... doesn't seem to be registering on the radar. Oh, we still have the seal coming back as well. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to make it back in time. If the enemy carrier is like... it's, it's sort of sailing off towards this direction. Um, we have a barge. Okay. We need to get this up. So just like over there at a thousand and then hopefully by the time it's up we can take control and we can try to do a bombing run i would like i said oh there we can see the first ship that's great we've just detected it does that mean it's come up on this radar yes it has okay so what are we working on here we need some delay timers if they're moving which we know they are uh, let's load torpedoes on the right hand side. I also need to be very careful. I, I want to send it out a little bit ahead of them. We'll put a bit of an activation delay. Not that I'm sure if that even matters right now. We're going to have to throw everything at it here. But the thing is, I want to try and get rid of the rest of the ships so that we don't have to worry about their anti-air. I'm not even sure what those are, by the way. Um, I hope that... I'm not sure if you can hear that noise. I wonder if that is an indication that... Ah, I think that means we've been spotted. It's sending its own missiles. That's a needle. Needlefish. Can I tag it? Oh, great. I don't know if this does anything, but we're going to tag it anyway. It's getting very close. Okay, so it says carrier. Let's see what the second level does. That, that aircraft's about to go up. Okay, that doesn't do anything. It looks like we're dealing with needlefish. Those aren't hard to get rid of, luckily for us. Um, let's... Uh, 
quickly get some more um, torpedoes out. Where are they? Need to change the heading here. More or less over there. Launch the torpedoes. Where's this aircraft? Perfect. Okay, we want to take control. Uh, manual control. Bombs. Should we just arm all of them? Try to drop them all at once? I guess so. And then... Which direction are we flying in? We're flying... A we should be flying away from it now. That's the island that we just took. That's the carrier. Um, this is going to be hard because I'm going to need to go fast. And... Can I target that? Oh, there we go. Now the million dollar question is, will any of these actually hit uh, at the speed that I'm flying? I can't afford to go slow. That thing, it's equivalent to what we have, um, and we have very strong anti-air capability, so... We want to sort of... Is it... Is it going towards us? I can't tell. I'm dropping the bombs. Shit. No, I don't think... It does seem like it's going toward, towards us. Okay, we are being shot at. And I heard explosions, but I don't know... If that was us hitting the enemy carrier. Okay, we should be out of range here. Perfect, okay. Uh, come back. And don't get shot down, please. Um... Oh no, they are sending lots of torpedoes our way. Uh, we need to get noisemakers off. No, sorry, are those torpedoes or noisemakers? I can't quite tell. The delay timer on these things is too long, but that's good to know as well. Um, reduce the delay. We'll just put it at like 100. We may as well just put it to zero if we're going to do that. Um, but... Okay, it does look like we're getting torpedoes from their side, so let's load a noisemaker and get that out. So we're sending that out first, and then we'll load some more torpedoes. Um, I want to go back here and see... Do we still have a good visual on this? There it is. It is still at full health, so I definitely missed. Should we just go off in pursuit of this thing? Where's the carrier gun? Cycle weapon. Don't think it can hit at this distance, unfortunately. Yeah, it's out of range. I can... I can't afford a direct assault of it now. I first need to soften it up with some bombs. That's just, unfortunately, the way it is. This did take some damage, but not a whole lot. Or the more, more missiles that they're sending. I'm not too worried about those. Okay, this seal's not going to make it back in time. I need to get turned around. Um, but I also don't want my Mantis to crash, and that's on approach. I don't think I'm in a position to, to even try and directly confront this thing yet. Where are we? Uh... Should be somewhere towards the back of where we are now. Then I also don't want to lose sight of it completely. Although, to be fair, I'm not sure if I'm completely prepared for this yet. What we're definitely going to need here are more Manta chassis. Um, because we could lose some of these. So let's build three more of these, actually. Then they are available and they're close if we need to get them. I've just wasted 4 out of the 20 bombs that I have. I don't know if this approach that I'm taking of dropping all 4 at the same time is the best. Maybe I need to try and drop them like one at a time. But every time I bring this Mantis, uh, or Manta, I can't remember what they're called, close to that carrier, I'm risking... Yeah, okay, so we're completely protected against the missiles, but we won't be against the torpedoes. Those we'll have to manually take care of. Is that another one coming in? I think it is. Shit, I haven't launched these other torpedoes. Uh, let's uh, let one of the countermeasures go. If that's even working. Um, okay. First 
turn this off in that direction. We'll send these torpedoes out and then we'll just get a noisemaker out as well. That should take care of this torpedo that's approaching us. Hopefully. Let's have a look. I thought there was a torpedo approaching us. That's the noisemaker. Those are ours. Got these needlefish. That's another missile. Okay, these torpedoes, unfortunately, is way off course because of the delay timer. And I, I don't have high hopes for these either because they'll, even if they start tracking, I'm sure that the carrier is going to try to send out noisemakers. Okay, if that manta's going down. We have another one, one which for some reason the countermeasures don't want to function properly, but uh, it's okay. okay. So we sort of send it, let's just send it roughly off in the direction of this island for now, at a higher altitude. And then we'll take control as soon as it's airborne. We have another, another one of these cruise missiles coming in. But those aren't a threat to the carrier as long as we have our weapon systems enabled. And this also poses an interesting challenge because we can't move at full speed while they are enabled. So if we want to go and chase down the enemy carrier, that's going to create an issue for us. So I don't know. Just watch it shoot that down. That's great. Uh, can we? Do we still have... So we've lost the position. I think this is where we last saw them. Um, I am going to... Oh, no, wait. We just picked up one of them again. They're definitely moving away, so they're not pursuing us. Which I guess is a good thing. Um, I mean, it, it means we might lose them here if we don't pursue them. We almost have the seal back on board. Not that I care. We could e easily just replace this. It's... Okay, these have started tracking, that's good. So I think this must be the the needlefish at the back. The other option that we have is to fly in with a mantis and drop torpedoes right before they... Okay, yeah, there goes the noisemaker. I want to try that. I, I want to try torpedoes as well. Um, wh where are we on this one? Has it launched? It's not deploying. I think the reason why it's not deploying is because it can't sort out the countermeasures. Okay, now there is an issue there. Can I cancel that order somehow? This is a bit of a... Okay, there we go. We cancelled it. Get rid of the countermeasures. Because for some reason it's not letting it. Now, now this is not great. We don't really want to send this thing out without it, but... Well, the other one still works, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's still functional, so fine. We send that one up for now. I don't know if the countermeasures auto deploy, and I don't really focus on that while I'm moving in on a bombing run anyway. But this one is going up. And then the second one, since we have limited bombs anyway, we are going to outfit this with torpedoes. There we go. So the idea is, I don't know how common this is, but it's kind of like if you've ever seen in movies how in the Second World War they have these uh, bomber planes or whatever planes you call them flying in close to uh, the enemy's navy and then dropping torpedoes right before the ship. That's kind of what I want to try and do here. Um, now, the thing is, I'll need to get pretty close to it, because the further out I am, the more opportunity he's going to have to send out noisemakers and get rid of those torpedoes. But if I drop it right before the ship, and I'll probably need to fly quite close for that, then I should be okay. OK, 
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take control of this. Full speed. And we'll unlock... Should we just unlock one of the bombs for now? Or two? Let's unlock two. So we need to turn back in that direction. That's us. So we're on the right hand side. I see lights over there in the distance. I don't know if that's an island or if those are the ships. So to the right hand side is the island that was to the south of us. So got some lights on the left and the right here. I'm not sure which it is. It looks like it might be the ones on the left. Because I'm I seem to see There's a cruise missile on the left hand side as well. Oh, here we go. This is the carrier. Okay. Okay, so that noise is either a noise to indicate that we've seen the carrier or that they've seen us. Maybe both. But, uh, I'm gonna try this again. Come on. These are anti-air missiles, I think. We need to be careful. Very, very careful here. Okay, and up, up, up. Shit. That's one Manta gone. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's one Manta gone. I don't know if that actually connected or not. Hmm, this is hard. Uh, okay. We're going to send the other one up, and then we need to get an order of the new ones in. Yeah, so let's we'll do both of those things at the same time. Money is the one thing we do have. Um, luckily, we've taken over a lot of islands here. Has this barge been damaged? I think it has. Okay, anyway, send up this one. By the way, that those countermeasures didn't do anything. I assume that means that I have to fire them. Which I had ample opportunity to do, I just don't have a lot of experience fighting the carrier, so I, I didn't think about it at the time. I thought I could evade it, which clearly didn't work. Um, okay, we need to get this order in, so where is this? Uh, we go down to air chassis, and this would be Manta. We have requested for three to be built, and then we can send off our barge to collect those so just well, this is really close so we'll get we'll get these out fast now the other problem that we're going to start running into is we'll run eventually out of torpedoes and bombs and stuff but for now we still have enough so i'm not going to request those just yet um there's another ship off to the left here can i is this on the radar Please let that not be a swordfish. I don't want to deal with one of those right now. We're going to play it safe here and just send some torpedoes its way. But uh, there we go. Load one. Oh, there we go. I need to take control of that soon. Okay, so send those off. Alright, we're going to try this again and accept that there's a very real chance that we'll lose this Manta as well. But, like I said, I just want to soften this thing up before pursuing it with my own carrier, because then I can start firing at it with the carrier guns. I just can't do that when we're both at the same health, because they could be firing torpedoes, guns, all of that stuff at the same time. I I'm only one person. Um, Again, it comes back to the multiplayer thing, but uh, we're going to make it work. Well, okay, luckily, so this is how the enemy carrier takes highlands. It just fires the carrier gun or cruise missiles or something, it seems. Um, very subtle. It makes it extremely easy to find out where it is. We're going as fast as we possibly can. We have no countermeasures, so we have to get this right, but at least the torpedoes track. Um, 
This will be really interesting to see. This time I'm going to stay at a higher altitude and I'm going to try to get it as close as I possibly can to that carrier without overshooting. Okay, there's that noise again. I do think that's an indication that it has spotted us. Okay, so and drop. That should be very, very close. Okay, we're going to turn around before it can fire on us. Uh, then I'm going to do something here real quick. So I want to send this Manta back to land. No. There we go. Then I want to take control again because I want to see... Actually, no. Wait a second. Can I, can I just check here? Oh, these are the torpedoes and they do seem to have a little bit of a delay on them. This, this may end up working. Uh, are those missiles going to the Manta? This could be a problem because it only takes one to take it out. This countermeasures thing is a problem. I think it's going to get taken out. Yeah, it is just like spamming noisemakers and, and these are going to track the noisemaker now. But we did do damage. The previous bombs we fired must have hit then. Because this definitely wasn't... Okay, we just lost. We just lost that Manta. Okay, this is very much tracking, of course. We know that's not where the carrier is. So, um, we may need to get in even closer with the torpedoes. And clearly the bombs do work. But it's a high price to pay. Uh, did we get any of the new... Yeah, we got the new Manta chassis. So, let's get some loaded. One of these. Another one here. We're also losing the gimbal cameras and the radars that I fitted on this stuff. And none of that's great. Um, Alright. Let's do the same thing. We'll, we'll have one that's got the torpedoes. I'm not ready to give up on this strategy completely. Also because I have limited bombs. So we'll have one of torpedoes. And we'll have the other... The heavy bombs. Should we put... Yeah, let's just do the heavy bombs. And it's just I don't have that many of these left. Let's put heavy bombs on the left and... Can I even drop that many? Actually, I don't know if there's any point in that. I'm just going to put bombs on the outside. I, I don't have that many to play with. I'd, I'd rather make sure that I actually hit than spend all of my bombs. Because these are getting shot down, clearly. Something else I could do. Actually, maybe this is a better idea. We'll give this one some torpedoes and some bombs. So we fire off the torpedoes, then we drop the bombs. I'll give us a lot to do and to think about up there, but that uh, might work. And let's get in closer. I, uh, I want to start moving. Do we have the... We just have torpedoes everywhere here. So this is where we are. We know they're out there. They've just tried to take this outpost, but it seems like they've abandoned that because we interfered. Probably. Um, let's move. So we need to turn. And we're going to disable all the weapons. Let's move a bit faster. So those lights, surely that must still be it. If you do ever play this against real people, you should really turn off all of these runway lights and stuff because it does make it so much easier to spot the carrier. I'm not sure if when we started this episode, that's what I actually saw off in the distance. I just saw lights and I think that maybe the lights I saw was closer to the east as opposed to sort of the north side of us where the island was. But um, 
anyway, if you're if you're playing against an actual human person, that'll definitely be a a giveaway. Um, okay, so we're sort of going in that direction. Let's get more mantis manta production. Uh, still have enough money. Get like three more of these because I do very much intend to use these, like spend them essentially. And this barge can bring it to us wherever we are at whatever point in time we need to use those. Okay, so this one has all the torpedoes. This one has bombs on the outside, torpedoes on the inside. I think we'll do the bombing run first, and if we survive that, which we probably won't, then we'll go out and try to drop the torpedoes as well. Is this... I don't know if this is one of our torpedoes, or if somehow... I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm just going to fire a noisemaker in this general direction in case this is a torpedo that is tracking us. So we need to get the weapons back on and swing this around. Mm, that looks like one of our torpedoes. I don't want to take any chances though, so we are just going to load one noisemaker and send it off. Okay. This is the thing, like, you can see all of these lights in the distance and you need to try and be aware of what... That was a ship, for sure. Don't know where it went. What's over there? So that's a. Sh Surely that's a ship, but what is it? It's not showing up on the radar. Okay, we've just been hit by something. Let's get some repairs going. It's completely taken out my anti-air gun in the front. Okay, we're just going to stop the engine for a bit. I still don't understand why this is not showing up on the radar if it's taking shots at me. Anyway, we'll, we'll have to figure that out in a bit, because uh, we want to get control of this. I don't know if I should have put both bombs on the same side. I don't know if there's a risk that they can connect with each other. Okay, lots of lights. Which one's the carrier? That's an island. This has to be just like one ship, right? Because I think that's the one that we just saw, whatever that is. And then those lights off in the distance there must be the carrier. That's the island again. I think it's over there. It's a, it's well off into the distance now. I may as well drop those torpedoes right on top of it, because unless... I mean, from, from where I was sitting, it seemed to me like I was very close. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to drop all of these together. That way, if I fall short, at least the torpedoes gives me a chance of hitting. And I'm assuming a torpedo that's dropped directly on top of the deck of a ship is just as devastating. I have no reason to believe that it wouldn't be. Are they busy assaulting another island here? 
they seem to be really far back. I want to go back to the map and try and work out, like, is the carrier trying to run? Can't tell. I haven't heard that noise yet. The one that usually indicates that it spotted us. So I want to go right on top of it. I'm sort of going to assume that we're sacrificing this thing and then I want to dive down. Give myself the best possible chance of hitting here. Yeah, there is the noise. Okay, that is the noise to indicate that it spotted us. Okay, bombs away. And we're pulling away. Oh, I didn't drop... I didn't drop the bombs, I just dropped the torpedoes. That's interesting, I thought they would all go at the same time. Now, I have to assume that it has launched anti-air, and those are tracking me right now. I can't see. If I had a second player, they could tell me this, but I need to get a little bit of distance, then turn back around. Oh, shit. That's more anti-air. Okay, try to get off to the side here. Whoa, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> so, we... I'm sure those bombs must have hit. Um, okay, let's see. We still have this alarm going off. Uh, silence the alarm. Do the hull repairs. It's not too bad. Okay. Uh, okay, you... No, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that... This is just torpedoes now. Screw the torpedoes. We are going back to bombs. We'll do torpedoes when we run out of bombs. We're going back to bombs. Heavy bombs, for that matter. Any problem is this... This carrier is getting really far away. And I, on, on the one hand, I do kind of want to go in that direction. But right now, what I need is supply. And the supply of Mantas is close to where I am. So I should probably stay put. Uh, we can get these fixed. And then, how are we doing on the weight limit? 81%. Let's ask this to go and pick up... Well, it's right, it's right here. So I, haven't, I don't think I've put in the order for the new ones asked for another Did we asked for two or three to be built I feel I feel like we asked for three so oh and we still have another one on the ship come to think of it um, so you go there pick that up put it onto the carrier and we want to outfit another one of these we want to send this one up Okay, um, this is the one. Don't let it go too close to that island. So it sort of needs to go over here, then over here. How do I cancel this waypoint? Sorry. Well, we'll just put both of them at a thousand meters. There we go. So get that one airborne. Then the other one... We need to make sure this is a very expensive way of attacking enemy carriers that I have here but I do feel like we're making progress I'm, I'm not sure how quickly if it can fix itself as quickly as we do um, and that may mean that what I'm doing here is not enough but it's the only thing I can think of right now uh, let's see if we if there's anything else here so these torpedoes those must be those must be the ones that I dropped before, and I'm assuming that they didn't hit then, and they hit the water and they're going somewhere else, or they're following that, but at least it's a good reference point for us now. I don't know if it's possible for us to put markers here. Doesn't look like it. I don't know if that's tracking something, but um, here's the thing. This is the map. The carrier is running. Like, it's going away from everything else that we have here. Uh, and since it's... Since we may be at this for a while, and I have money, 
Um, we're still fixing the hull. It, do it does take time to do that, so presumably it would take time for the AI to do that as well. Um, where do we get heavy munitions? There's nothing close, is there? It's got to be all the way over here. And the heavy bombs... I'm just trying to think, like, if we're fighting the carrier, this is probably what we need. These are super heavy. They're like 2,000 each. And, but they're cheap to build. And therefore it is worth building. So we're going to build 20 more. And we'll put in an order for that. Because eventually I will run out of these as well. So it's more like, with the heavy bombs, it's more about the weight that you need to worry about. Because, I mean, they do you a lot of damage from what I can see. Put in an order for 20. We won't send the barge just yet. Although I can probably ask it to move closer. Just like move over there. Okay, how close is this uh, Manta to launching? Oh, it's already in the air. Nice. Um, now again, we're faced with tracking these down. Let me just see the position. So we're sort of flying east. We need to turn down towards the south. We'll do that. Okay, so unlock the weapons. So I need to be ready. Speed up and turn towards the south. And then we'll just keep flying until we see the lights. And I do see lights off in the distance there. I need to fly as high as possible. I want to do the same thing where we'll go up to about almost an altitude of 2000. And then we'll dive down at the last second. So it does appear, oh, we're starting to stall and I think that's because we're reaching the altitude limit in the game. Um, we're not stalling because of speed, that's for sure. It's we're fast enough. I think it's because we can't, we can't go higher than that. Anyway, um, based on this last attack run that I just did, I feel like if I'm coming up behind the carrier, he doesn't spot me immediately because that noise that we hear when it spots us, it came a lot l later than the, the last time round. I'm basically doing this suicide bomber style right now because since I know it's almost impossible I don't have countermeasures that are working on this thing. Is that the carrier? That has to be it, right? Can't tell. Or is that just a different ship? No, that's not the carrier. That's just a ship, okay. That's the carrier. Need to get my altitude back. I need to come up behind it. The green lights, if I remember correctly, green means that's the rear of the ship because that's where its aircraft would approach for landing. So we get in behind it a little bit. I still haven't heard that noise, which hopefully means it, it hasn't spotted me just yet. Still not behind it. If you've ever played a flight sim, um, there's always this issue of wanting to turn your head. And I know there are ways to do that with VR and some of the head tracking tech that you get these days. But this is one of those situations where being able to just look over to the right would be so useful to see my reference point. Um, and if you have ever played a flight sim in, in VR, I have actually been able to do that. And it just, it feels so natural to just look over your shoulder and look at the reference point for you know where perhaps the airport is that you're meant to be approaching um okay we'll see based on okay there it goes shit this is too soon i'm not ready yet um dive we're gonna do a big dive okay i think it it detonated close to us but it didn't hit and drop the bombs. <laughs> I 
I think we, okay, we lost, but we definitely hit the carrier. Um, so this is where it is right now. That's the position. It's just about, well, if that's, if it's 16 kilometers for what, one of these blocks, it's about 30 kilometers away. So it is quite a ways, but if I fly directly over this island, I can get to it pretty easily. Um, okay, let's send up the next one. Right now this is working. It's an expensive way to attack it, and I can't see how much damage we've actually done. But it's one way of doing it. And of course this would only work if you've... Uh, put yourself in a position where you have as many islands and, you know, that much income coming in. Although we are burning through cash fast, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to continue doing this long term. Um, okay, so this one's coming up. We'll get the next one outfitted. Okay, only two heavy bombs left. So we'll have to fit this with medium bombs. But now the question is, will it allow me to drop all four of these at the same time? Because it didn't work that way with the torpedoes. Well, I have to try anyway. So by the way, something that we've just learned from that run is it is perfectly possible to evade missiles without using countermeasures. It's not easy. I had to do a very risky dive right at the end, but it's possible. We're sending the next one up. I would love to know how close we're getting to the health limits of that thing. Um, like how much damage are we actually doing with these bombs? The the first hit that we scored seemed to do a fair amount of damage, like, you know, maybe 20%, something like that. Please don't crash into the waves here. This is something that I didn't think about. We're in the deep water. This would be such a waste. Okay, awesome. So that's done. We're gonna get back in here, take manual control, go as fast as possible, and we're just gonna unlock all of these bombs. Okay, this one still has heavy only. Um, that's the island. So we know that uh, it's sort of, it's kind of south of this island somewhere again. It's definitely easier to hit it from behind. I don't want to come across diagonally because that just makes it easier for me to miss the target. If I can come in from behind, it means that at least makes it a little bit easier to line up the shot. It's getting foggy. That's not going to help us. But I know I'm sort of in the right direction here. Maybe I need to turn a little bit more towards the south. Because I think that's the direction we're heading. I'm seeing lights, like very... If you're watching this on a mobile device, it might be difficult for you to spot that, but on a, on a big widescreen, uh, I can sort of see the lights off in the distance. Got rain here. This is pretty uh, this is pretty exciting, I've got to say. I've mentioned a couple of times that I've hugely enjoyed Carrier Command, and I think that the island assaults are still the most interesting part for me, but um, yeah, it's definitely tense trying to take out this carrier. I just hope we can actually finish it in, in this episode. If I run out of money or supplies, I might need to spend some time doing other stuff again. Maybe taking more islands. Okay, cool. I can see it and I can see where the rear of the ship is. So I'm going to fly over here. And again, this is that situation that I was just talking about. If I could just turn my head towards the right. Um, of course, I realize that this is a drone that I'm flying. But um, and just get that viewpoint. Maybe it's even possible that the game has controls for that. But I don't think so. I think you need to use the gimbal camera. Um, and that would just make it so much easier to line up my run. Did I go off to the wrong side? Now I feel like I did, because it seems like... Yeah, I did. On the left-hand side... 
is the, the red lights, which indicates the front of the ship, and on the right hand side is the green lights. I haven't heard the noise yet, so I'm pretty sure it hasn't spotted me just yet. Man, I'm getting close, I need to be careful here. Like I said, it's just, it gives me the best chance if I can line up the shot from behind. Oh no, okay, we're going to need to go for it. So, we're going to do the same thing. Um, is that fired at me? Okay, dive, dive, dive. That's definitely coming for me. I'm going to wait for that boom. And shit, pull up, there we go. I think that was a hit. I mean, I'm hoping these uh, explosions that I'm hearing is from... So what is this? We This is southeast. This is almost exactly southeast from this island. So when we reach this island with the next one, we're going to go southeast. We are starting to run out of bombs. Um, but okay, we've, we've already got the next one prepped. We don't want to give it too much time to prepare itself, which I'm now assuming it is doing, because it, it should have been dead already. Um, assuming these are hitting, it's just this, this information gap is an issue. I, uh, I should maybe try to get a helicopter out as well. And just so that I can look at it with a gimbal camera, if I have that on one of these. And this is my recon plane. This is probably going to get shot down as well. But um, I just want to see what its health is. Like, are we actually having an impact here? That's what I'm wondering. Um, how's the production of the new bombs coming along? Very... No, actually, it's very good. We've only got three more to be produced. Um... Oh, we've already run out, so let's just, we'll just get this barge to pick these up, bring them back to us, because that's going to take a while, and I'll keep the other barge with me for now. If we can't take it out of the amount of bombs that we have right now, then I don't know. It's like, uh, yeah, that's also made it over the wave, which is good. Since we know that's not coming back, we're going to start outfitting uh, the next one. Which is going to have to make do with medium bombs. Surely we must be getting close to destroying it. Uh, this is the one that had the combination of the two bomb types. That's a shame. Um, so we are going to unlock all of them. Oh yeah, you can see like it's not linking. We'll have to, we'll have to switch. So I'll need to quickly switch. We'll we'll see if that happens or not. This is really. Um, you really don't have a lot of time. Once you get close. I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to get behind it again. Clearly that didn't work out so well with the previous round. And Wait, I said I must fly to the southeast. I'm going south. There's the light. The rain stopped, so we can see it a lot sooner. So the problem in terms of cost right now is not the mantas because, sorry, it's not the bombs because the bombs are like 50 each. So it's like 200 each time I do this. But the manta I think costs like 1,500 or 2,000, 2,500 maybe? Anyway, it's expensive. And I'm definitely not close enough to hit it with uh, the carrier's guns. And like I said, that's not going to be a fair fight because it's going to be throwing everything at me uh, while I'm only firing at it with guns. Because it could send up 
aircraft that could send out amphibious units. I'm assuming, I don't know, like I said, I've, I've never actually had an encounter with the carrier, so sort of learning as I'm going here. I'm not hearing that noise anymore, so now I'm, I'm not sure if, if my theory was right. I wanted to send the anti-air missile so that I can dive as it approaches, like now. Okay, so do the dive. Try to get under... Oh, shit. Okay, it's missed, it's missed. But am I going to overshoot here? No. Okay, so... Shit. Drop the bombs. I think those missed. That was not a good... That was not a good run. Hmm. Um, do I have any planes left? Do I need to build more? I think so. Air chassis. There's still one Manta left. Oh, these are 1,250. I was wrong on all my guesses. But it's still pricey. Doing what I'm doing right now. We started at about 20,000 when I started attacking. And we're well down from that now. This one is okay. At least... I think what was tripping me up on that previous one is I was trying to find the right key for switching to the other types of bombs and just wasn't really concentrating on what I was doing. Uh, yeah, so it's still off to the southeast, we know that. I couldn't really tell if it's trying to make its way back over here. Just give it a lot of altitude. Okay, so with that done... This barge is going to take forever to get here. Is there any option for me? Like, none of these islands. I think because this is all randomized, the closest heavy munitions island is this one. Uh, so, please pick up more of these. Because we will run out of the medium bombs as well. It's a good thing I didn't send the other barge off. I can build another barge, which maybe I should consider, but I am going to start running out of money as well, so I can't just do that. Yeah, we don't have any more spares. At some point, maybe I should just take the carrier and, and go over there, but I've got to keep in mind that it's also surrounded by needlefish, which I haven't dealt with, and... I'll be fighting those as well, so... Okay, there we go. I'm not sure how many runs we've done here. Uh, quite a few. We are on a southeast trajectory. Do feel like I can see like a little light shining off in the distance there. Well, it's actually quite clear now. It's clear and it's nighttime. In a lot of ways, this reminds me of games like Far Cry because the the modern Far Cry games and a lot of games like it is built around this idea that you sort of go and do recon on. A base of some sort and then you assault it and this is that same sort of thing with attacking the islands you send out up a recon plane you tag stuff then you go in and you take it out and much like Far Cry and most of sort of stealth games I guess uh, nighttime is a big advantage for you as the player you know that's that's not it the light that I saw initially was the other which I'm assuming is a needlefish because it hasn't tried to take me out. So, as far as I know, a needlefish can only carry one type of weapon. Like, it can either have a gun or maybe a torpedo, I'm not sure, uh, a couple of other things. Whereas the swordfish has multiple, it has like anti-air, it has torpedoes, it may have a cannon as well, potentially, I'm not sure. The carrier is very far away. And I don't know if it's just sticking out here to lick its wounds or something, like do repairs. 
What makes this doubly hard now is because I don't have proper countermeasures every time, I have to wait for it to fire a missile at me, then do the dive, and then, um, like, here we go, I've got the missile. I want it to start tracking me, and then I want to dive before it gets to me. That seems to be fairly reliable. And we... Shit. What just happened? I think I may have connected with my own bombs or something. I'm getting the feeling that a lot of these runs I'm doing aren't actually hitting. We're still waiting for the new ones to come in. Should we use this time to do some recon? One of these. I want to take this one because th those torpedoes aren't going to do us any good. So let's do that. Uh, send one of these units out. I wish I still had that reference point for where I just died. Um, but we know it's sort of roughly in this area. I, I really can't afford to get too close here. So we're going to send this up, we're going to put it close to the maximum altitude, let's just put it at 1800, while we're waiting for the new Mantas to come in. I just want to see, like, are we actually putting a dent in this thing, because if I'm spending this much resources and not getting anything out of it, that's it's really not worth it. Wow, this barge takes forever, we're not even a quarter of the way there. I think the next thing I'm going to do is just to go and throw my carrier at it, basically. Let's see. Uh, because one of the reasons why we're so overweight... Um, okay, we've, we've gone down to like 77% on the weight, but it's because we had a lot of these 160... Oh, no. Actually, I did check. These aren't so heavy. It's because of all the bombs and stuff, I guess. Um, but anyway, we do still have 60 shells left. That should be able to do a fair amount of damage. The benefit of this over literally everything else, um, uh, like the bombs, the missiles, all of that, despite the fact that it doesn't weigh as much, is that anti-air is useless against this. This is a shell, so it'll hit as long as it's on target. Um, the other option that we have, so I don't know if I've ever shown this, there's like the safety hatch here with a self-destruct system. And I'm assuming that the other ship must have this on as well. But, you know, whether you can actually manage to get alongside it. And I don't think there's a jump button. So perfectly, like, get onto it and enable its self-destruct. That sounds like a pretty high-risk strategy to me. Is this other vehicle out? It is. Okay, so we will let it do the flying. We may end up taking this island, so let's, uh, while we're up here, just do some recon. There's a fine. This doesn't look like a particularly dangerous island. There's no turrets around that. I think this was a one shield been so obsessed with the carrier that I haven't really been paying attention to what's going on around me. We have these. And I think hopefully these aren't ships. No, those are just normal ground units. Anything that I've missed here? Let's send a razor bull out here. Wow, the amount of time this is taking. That is the... I guess needlefish that we've been randomly encountering. I didn't think about this. This is a long distance for a helicopter to fly. Anyway, what I'm 
worried about now is that by the time this eventually gets to where it needs to be, um, it may have had time to repair itself. It does look like the barge has arrived. There should be more that it didn't have a chance to pick up though. So let's just have a look. But these have the bear chassis. I haven't picked that up either. Did I did I put in the order for the mantas? Hmm. For no, I didn't. Okay, so we need to put in the order. Need to send this out again. Sometimes this doesn't, like, obviously I'm trying to click the barge, not the carrier. So that's done. Then I should have gotten one, which we can now outfit the bombs. I'm not going to use the light bombs, it hardly seems worth wasting an entire manta on that. I mean, it may seem really strange, the angles that I'm coming in to do the bombing runs, but the real reason for that is just I have to come and hide and dive underneath what is being fired. Look at all the mantas that we've lost. We've lost six. So maybe the seventh time will be the charm. But um, that's the problem. Like, I, I have to come in at such a weird angle. It would obviously make a lot more sense for me to just come, come in sort of low and drop it when I'm in a more horizontal position and then there's less risk of me missing I guess but uh, so that's the enemy carrier I'm not close enough to scan it and I want to scan it so that I can see its health definitely flying directly towards it though and I should be getting into range of it what is that? It seems to be a small ship surrounding it. Because that's that's part of its escort. This one at the front here, that's a needlefish. Oh, maybe this is its own air unit that it's sent out. That does seem to be moving too fast to be a ship. Is that coming in for a landing? Like getting into the pattern? This is interesting because I can clearly see this on the cameras, but I don't think it's going to show up just yet here. And if it's off to the left of this, that means it must be like somewhere over here-ish. I mean, again, I'm, I'm risking losing this, but I, right now, the intel is more important to me. So we are going to risk it. It doesn't appear to be moving. So I wonder if the AI is programmed to, if it's if you're hitting it, to first go somewhere safe and repair itself. And it would just be so good to know like where the health is at, because if it's at, if it's nearly full, then I may as well sort of take out other islands first and restock and get myself into a good position to fight it again. But if it's getting close to the limit... Okay, wait. Am I getting... Okay, no, I'm not getting close to the second waypoint. And the second waypoint should be quite close to it. Um, as I was saying, if, if it's getting close to the limit, then I, I want to continue and send more in. Uh, but I don't want to keep doing that until I have no money left, because um, I do need to take out other islands as well. Wait, am I... Why do I feel like I'm not heading in the right direction now? That's the carrier. No.
I don't want to end up just sacrificing this. I can't quite tell why. This is not in tracking mode, is it? That's why I'm struggling. I can't quite tell what I'm looking at here. Is that because I'm flying in the wrong direction? Is it? Is it moving towards Fear's Edge to attack that? It could be. Actually, no, let's let's do something else. I'll just go there, go over to this side, but maintain the altitude. Don't go low. You can go a little bit lower, but not that low. Oh, there it is. Man, I mean, I can literally <laughs> clearly see it. I, I don't understand why I can't do the scan from here. I can see it bringing down an aircraft on its elevator. It is coming towards us. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't, the thing is, it, because it auto, it defaults back to 400, it's going to drop its altitude, which it should not be doing right now. So that's a good way to get itself killed. Um, this is one bug that needs to get sorted out as well, is if you have the camera in tracking mode, or maybe it's not a bug, maybe it's meant to be that way, but... When you switch back to it after having exited the screen, it um, it just goes to a completely different position to what you're currently looking at, and that's a bit disorientating. This is interesting. Like, I'm trying to think, do I have any other weapons that I could mount on this thing that could fire at the carrier from here? But I don't think I do. It's just so crazy, we're really not far away from it. And let's just risk it. I'm gonna take manual control, flying a little bit closer. And then I'll switch back to the gimbal camera and hopefully get a look before it takes us out. Yeah, you can clearly see the benefits of playing multiplayer here. Okay, that's it. We're gone. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut the rotor completely, since there is absolutely no way for this thing to evade that. Yeah. Now, I was, I was hoping that I could use the, the other camera. I've, I've wasted a lot of resources here. Um, we still have one more petrol, so... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take one final run at it. This will be the seventh manta that I'm throwing at this, and if that doesn't work out, we'll probably we'll probably leave it for now and continue taking over islands first, the ones around us, um, just to have some time to regroup, get some more money, do whatever we need to do. We should we'll just leave that location up for a little bit longer. I mean, that may have been a giant waste of time, giving it time to repair itself. But at least while it's doing that, it's not, I guess, taking more islands. Um, by the way... We did get all three mantas here. That's good. Just outfit another one of medium bombs in case we need it at some point. 
I'm not putting these cameras onto it. Um, I'll just be wasting those. I mean, technically I am wasting the mantas as well, but at least we're inflicting damage, so we're getting something for that. Feels like these are coming out faster than I'm used to. Wonder if maybe in a patch they sped up the rate at which the elevator works or something along those lines. Okay. If you are watching this, I mean, I'll probably Google this after and you understand why the countermeasures are not loading. That would be quite useful to know because that could give me a big edge as well if I actually have those to use instead of having to manually dodge these missiles every time. At least it's clear skies. That makes our life easier. I'm assuming that's it again. It definitely does seem to be just sitting there waiting probably to get itself fixed up. So when I said before that it seems to help to approach it from behind, uh, I don't think that was true. I think we're just high enough. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Oh, it is. Sorry. I thought I thought maybe I was looking at an island because of the way that the lights were positioned, but there are no islands out here. This is just the ship with its escort. Just trying to figure out, like, where it's headed. So we're going to turn in at the last second here. It keeps sending out planes. Okay, there goes the missile, which we know is coming for us. We'll go in this direction to trick it into trying to find us here, and then we'll turn in. Perfect, we evaded it. Now, we can come in on the bombing run again. Shit, okay. I know what I'm doing wrong now. I've just wasted another run. It's, uh, it's that sudden movement that I make just before I hit. Like, I have to be a little bit more stable in how I'm lining up this run. Man, I really want to take another crack at this. Let's see how we're doing on money. Um, well, money's not an issue. We're back up to 16,000. The real problem is how long it takes for this thing to bring the bonds. Um, and we should definitely be building more. Just get 30 this time with the heavy bombs. Uh, and we'll put in the order for that as well. Getting confused as to where these actually are. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we need another order for 30, and we have 20 in transit. And those are the heavy bombs. Um, get another one loaded. Oh, we are actually nearly completely out of bombs. Um, as much as I know I that I said that that was going to be the last one, I do want to have another crack at this. Um, really hoping that uh, this, this time it actually works. It'll be so satisfying to just see that carrier blow up after all this. I don't know if 
the economy applies to the enemy carrier as well. I mean, if it does, it's I'm giving it a lot of kills by going in and... And we can see all the mantas we've had delivered here. Never thought I'd be spending that many. But uh, we, we are making a lot of money through island control. So you can kind of see we went... Day 22, we were at 18,000, went down to 13, back up to 14, but we've just spent a bunch more uh, for the extra bombs. The Mantis is properly fast. Maybe that's something else that we need to look into, like if, if this run doesn't do it, um, trying to sort out the anti-air may not be a bad idea. I've got a nice angle there. Just a safe angle, I guess, uh, far away from any risk that it might hit the water. Okay, we'll unlock all of these. And the AI flies it brings the throttle down, but there's just no reason to do that. This is much faster. What I'd like to see them do is... I want the AI, like the AI that's supporting you, to be more competent. And I don't expect them to make it as competent as the player, because that would defeat the purpose um, of being able to take manual control. So I think it's it's good that it's more effective for you to take manual control but uh, it shouldn't be that big a difference um, I'm, I'm going too far south I need to be more oh there it is okay um, actually I should go more east and I'll approach it from the rear this time um, anyway like it should be like you know maybe 50% more or you know twice as effective when you take manual control, not 10 times as effective. And, and that's kind of what it is right now, especially like if you think about the combination of the Razor Bull and the auto cannons. If you send out the AI with that, they sometimes don't even hit on a strafing run, whereas you as the player can take out, you know, five units in the same run, sometimes even a lot more than that. And I just think that it's fine that you can do that amount of damage as the, the player, but... Uh, they need to bring that delta down a bit and make the AI more competent when it's supporting you, or at least in single player mode. I mentioned this in a comment on a video the other day. Uh, I was discussing this with somebody on the channel and sort of mentioning that I think these are the two things that I would change in the game is like make single player a little bit better, which may be by, you know, giving you better AI support and increase or decrease the amount of time that it takes to get vehicles off the carrier because it does take a long time and I don't mind the pace of the game being slow but that's one thing that they can maybe just adjust a little bit man I've really got to try and not get into weird angles and sudden movements and stuff here it's still sending out aircraft for reconnaissance, I assume. Okay, we've just got to go for it now. Okay, there goes the missile again. So we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. We're going to trick it into thinking we're going in that direction. Then we're going to switch back. Don't know if we did enough here. Uh, maybe we did. It's close. And... Okay, I've dropped the bombs. Don't know if it hits. But it didn't do enough to take it out. What the hell? We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it with the carrier. This is uh, I'm really letting my uh, <laughs> lack of self control show here because I'm so determined now to take that thing out. Um, but I I just don't know what else to do anymore. I think we had one more Manta left with bombs on it. So I mentioned that this was going to be Iron Man, and this may be how the series end um, ends. It's like a, it's a Moby Dick situation, I think, where um, I'm getting obsessed, and I have to take this thing out. But uh, it's either going to be us or them now. 
Okay, where is southeast? Um, is that the compass? Can't quite see what's on the compass. Stay far enough away from this island for now. And we are going to send up. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Gonna send up one more. Okay, so that's ready. I'm sure that must have hit. Get this one airborne. About a thousand five hundred. This is really gonna slow us down. What can I do about? Don't need the anti-air. Well, what do I really not need? I'm gonna need the the cruise missiles are gonna be useless. So I may as well switch that off. I don't think we'll need the flare launch launcher. Um, torpedoes, we may want to use those, at least even if it's just for noisemakers. Should probably preload some of those. And I wonder if it's going to try and run away from us when it spots us. That'll be interesting to see as well. How are we doing on speed? We're at about 60 knots. And... I know that we can go up to like 90-ish if we switch off the weapon systems. But I also don't want to risk... Uh, because we don't want to get hits from the cruise missiles. That's just unnecessary. We do have systems to stop that from happening. We're at full health. So if it's taken plenty of damage, and hopefully we'll find that out as we get close to it, that'll really help us. Sorry, what direction are we going? Where's the compass? Southeast, that's the direction we need to be heading. I'm just gonna wait for this to get airborne, then we'll take control immediately. Okay, there we go. So information is important in this game and it's, I mean, it's realistic, like in, you know, I'm assuming in real wars, you don't know um, when, sometimes when you've actually been able to hit targets. Of course, you know, I think in modern war that's changed a lot because there's a lot more ways for people to do reconnaissance. Um, whereas in the past, maybe it would not have been, but you would think in this situation that I'd have more information. I wonder if you play multiplayer, if two players can take control, like one on the gimbal camera and one on the uh, controls itself. Maybe not, but that would be useful, just so that we can get that health read. Actually, I think if I had the radar system installed in this, that should work as well. We're not that far out from it. It's more south than southeast. So I, I need to adjust my course maybe just a little bit. We'll do it as soon as I die here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go lower. We'll do the same thing that we did just now. Go off in this direction, change direction completely and dive. I think it's already off course, mostly. Yes. And shit i think i did oh no is this the cutscene we did it so we're not getting the voiceover narrative because i i just started this as a custom scenario to avoid having to play the tutorial again but um yeah that's it Wow, this this was a this was a really cool series. I really enjoyed Carrier Command 2, and I'm sure I'm going to be revisiting it again at some point in the future. Maybe once it gets to full release, I'd uh, I'd love to do another run through like this. But um, yeah, thanks for sticking with it, and uh, I'll see you for the next series.